I'm extremely delighted to be here amongst all of you and uh, uh, didn't expect such a full room uh, here today. Uh, I thank uh, Mr. Sridhar Reddy, Shailinder Singh, and the entire committee of uh, NAR and HRA for inviting me here to speak with you. Uh, I would request all of you to listen, make notes, ask questions, as uh, this event has been organized for you to learn, connect, and grow together. So um, before I move on, also a lovely arrangement and set up by the professional company Dewdrop Productions, headed by Mehika Bajaj. Why are we even talking about digital marketing today? It's getting very, very serious. That's because the United States of Facebook, as so the online report says, has only 2.19 billion monthly active users. That's how many zeros uh, after the two? Anybody? How much is 2.19 billion? 12 zeros. 12 zeros. YouTube Video Temple has 1.8 billion users every month. People go to do darshan on YouTube more than they go to Tirupati. Google Baba Darshan. All of us believe in Google Baba. Google Baba ko sab kuch pata hai. He will answer your queries anytime. 3.5 billion searches per day. These are stats from the internet, from uh, valid sources, online uh, stats reports, and uh, it definitely gives us an alarming, it shakes us up and it wants us to definitely know how we can use these portals to our benefit and advertise here and be visible at the right time. Okay, so uh, the sessions that I will be taking you through are extremely informal. So they say those who tell stories rule the world. Now that's the first topic. And I'm sure each one of us in every organization that we have, we have some kind of a story. We are small companies, medium-sized companies, big companies. All of us have something to say. Uh, I'll give you an example. The easiest example is my own company. So my company's name is Swordfish, and uh, we quite like the real McCoy. We are fast, aggressive, and churn out powerful work. We are distinct and naturally different, and we are different from rest of waters in the advertising ocean. So have a statement for your company. Have something that speaks about yourself. Nothing wrong in it. Now, uh, brands tell stories. Nothing to be ashamed of what you do. I'm sure a story will come out from whatever your company and its DNA is all about. Like my company, we work from a small garage. We work from my mother's house. We are under 15 people. My two dogs also come to work with me. They play in the lawns. We got covered by a magazine and they put the story in such a way that it makes all of us feel good. So this is the story. 
working out of a garage is not uh, the uh, you know reason for me to be shy about one of my clients is microsoft today and uh, the garage has nothing to do with it we service that client out of the garage so what uh, the point that i'm trying to put across here to all of you is that go back home think today that does my company have a story take your story forward speak about it whether you speak about it online offline amongst your friends wherever you do just believe in what you do that's because when we all as humans are full of emotions why should our companies or brands be any different we speak with emotion we speak with genuinity now when you talk about a story or when you talk about any content you it's best to be real it's best to be true it's good to talk numbers it's good to talk facts and it's best not to be shy about it because people like genuine people so this is a lead in to your thought process of what you're going to say anywhere whether it's in the digital world or whether it's otherwise just be real now the goal is the same everybody most of the people sitting here are from the similar background the goal is the same but each one of us look different because we have those different stories have your story in a narrative form nobody minds to hear have your story with a moral put a moral in it if you are doing a social cause or if you have achieved something with your hard work and passion and you've gone out of your way to do something speak about it dovetail it into your story but be authentic now all of us would want to leave uh the women like this leave their mouth open about our stories and you know look at it the second time and want to know more generate curiosity now please think does your brand tell a story now uh i'll give you a few steps on what you should be doing to actually be ready for the digital world now the first thing is write down your story pen it down whatever it may be write it down in your language uh, write it at least while once you write it you will know what your strengths are what the opportunities are what your weaknesses are make your weakness your strengths but jot down those points and write your story now whether it's facebook or whether it's many of the online portals today we have lot of opportunity to create a photo album now whether that photo album is about your business it is about your partners it is about the place that you have taken as a you know vendor partner to sell believe in it create a photo book a photo album online let the world know that you also believe in what you're doing now supposing you've taken up an xyz place to sell make sure you've covered all the aspects right there on your online pages today with all the smartphones and devices that we have 
it's not difficult for us to go and shoot any video or any picture or any film when we do it and we post it online we are creating more interest that's because youtube as i mentioned before the youtube video temple is visited by 1.8 billion users every month so create your videos you can create professional videos you can create your own home videos by home videos i mean videos on your own i'm sure over you are experts in your own uh, uh, you know when you click pictures or videos of your family nobody is judging you here go live you're sitting here in such a beautiful audience today full hall go live here we are sitting here to maximize our skills to use the digital media Cl click of a button you believe in something you're here today you're here in this forum uh, shoot something and go live same thing goes for your own workplaces your contracts your projects all that you're handling sequence your ads you you all of you must have heard of facebook carousel ads or facebook ads that you know you can use and uh, you know generate more clicks likes posts and call to action sequence your ads where you first talk about brand awareness next going to your product information and finally call to action for conversion now most companies i've seen online what they do is i'm speaking about some i don't want to take names of uh, you know these property ads that come online but it's the same photograph of the same building with a headline and a logo am i right have you all seen that or is it any different the ads that we see online today real estate companies all of them have the same one picture along with a logo and a headline okay the headline has some message of communication but where is that human connect where is that story can think about it create a narrative now for example instagram you have and a lovely ambience that you're talking about right you know now media has made all of us journalists on the road click something and then post it and you talk about it all of us i think have become authors and writers we write poetry on facebook we post our pictures we become great uh, you know photographers we post lovely pictures on instagram we do it for our personal self but we are not thinking as much for our organizations or for our products or for our brands so when i say we have all become writers then we can become writers for our brands and write narratives also so start writing start putting them pen and paper together now you see this new thing on instagram which tells you a visual story it's like blocks of one picture uploaded separately to form the bigger picture you all have seen it how many of you use instagram okay have you all seen it they where you know 
the visual uh, small pictures put together form a big, bigger visual. So uh, use visuals. This is a typical case of how user-generated content, that is the content we people generate, has worked for a hashtag which is called without shoes. So what happened, one of the shoe companies, uh, what, what they did was, they hashtagged and they said, go one day without shoes, and how many ever people post on Instagram, that many shoes will be given to the underprivileged children. So they created this awareness. They got people to put up their pictures, walking in the sand, walking on the beach, which are without shoes. And they got about 27,435 responses on Instagram for this one day without shoes. So here it is how we are asking, we're making it more interactive. We are making people come and put content on our uh, portal. Tweet a storm. How many of you are on Twitter? Wow. Almost equal to Instagram, huh? Twitter is so simple, you know. How many characters are there on Twitter? Anyone? How many characters can we write on Twitter? 140. SMS is 160 characters. Twitter is lesser than SMS. Twitter is 280 now, but it had a limitation of 140 characters. And within that 140 or 280, it's a short story. Now here, there was one company who created, you know, one of five, one of eight messages, one of 10 messages. And he put it down and he said, I have something to share with all of you. And he wanted to announce that his company's, uh, you know, uh, got uh, seeded. So he said, he broke it down into bits and pieces of information and put it up, where all those characters could not fit. Create your own hashtags. Any more hashtags that we can use for today's event? You can create your own hashtag when somebody, uh, you know, searches for that. So what's happening today? Content is the new ad and hashtag is the new tagline. This is how your traditional advertising has changed and flipped over to digital. Abhi to hashtag ka zamana hai. Apne hashtag banao. Whenever I go out of station, what I do, if I have some photos of my travel, I hashtag travel diaries. So all my travel pictures are in one pocket of travel diaries. Why am I driving so much of content, content, content into all of you? Is because no content, no advertising. No content, nothing to speak. No story, what will you talk about? That is why my first 20 minutes to you is all about content. Are wa bahut hi samajhdari hai. Big hand for him. He remembers. Then we have Amul from the black and white days, the Amul girl. And uh, who can you recognize the last? Uh, 
Mazhar Khan, correct, Synthalad. So each stories were there that time also. Ads were used with stories that time also. We need to see how we can leverage content marketing on the digital platform. All brands tell stories to attract customers and to retain customers. We will also do that. Now, one of the tractor companies in the early uh, 1895, they had no business to actually release a magazine or a newsletter. But they did that and talked about uh, you know, farmers and they talked about how it could help farm, you know, nothing related to the sale of tractors. And imagine that today it has 1.5 million circulation, this magazine, which was not really intended to do anything but to, you know, form a small community and uh, their sales also, you know, grew multifold. So it's, a magazine is all about content. It's, it spoke of farmer stories and how farmers are doing well and how they produce. It's a story. It's being published in a magazine. Same way, you had in the 1900s a brand called Jello. It was nothing but your jelly, which we have with pudding. It's like a pudding. And this jelly had seven flavors and what they did was, they simply released a recipe book in those days. They are in the business of selling jelly. When they release the recipe book, which is, they're not really supposed to do that. But when they did that, their sales, people wanted the recipe book. And then they bought all the flavors to get the different recipes of all the flavors. G.I. Joe, it improved toy marketing, comics. Comics improved toy marketing and impacted that. So what, what are we doing now? Who are we talking to? Today, we are talking to a person who's very evolved on the digital media. We call him the connected customer. It's not, uh, it's a power shift. He's connected. It's not that he's limited by any geography today. He, the, we are moving from a power shift from exclusive to inclusive. Exclusive was what? When one company spoke about themselves only. Today, those companies are including, like for example, let's take an Amazon. They used to talk only of themselves. Today, they've included their vendors to come and talk onto their platform. So, smaller job, the world has become a smaller place. We are moving from I, me, myself to the four F. That is friends, families, fans, and followers. What you all need is word of mouth. You need those fans. You need those friends to speak good about your brand. The I, me, myself talking zamana is gone. Wo zamana abhi nahi raha. Today, we need to talk, we need others to talk about us also. Because what we say impacts them. Another power shift where the individual is moving to social decision. Now, earlier on, when if I wanted to buy a TV in the house, my husband and I, we would talk, and we would decide we want to buy this TV, or we want to buy this fridge. 
Today, when we want to buy something or a, a mobile phone, we'll, we'll ask five people, we'll check 10 reviews online, we'll see the performance of the product, what people have to say, how is the launch of this brand, the, what are the specifications, ask people, and then go and finally buy it. So aren't those people making a difference to your decision of purchase? People are making the difference. You know, the youth, they are acquiring mind share. So I'm going to speak to you about these three people who you need to concentrate on, okay? Your business is not directly targeting the youth. You would never say that I would, uh, you know, expect this young boy to buy and buy the property. But he is a very active influencer, which you don't, uh, maybe you will realize over a period of time. He has got a mind share. He has acquired the mind share because he is using this new technology. He is there everywhere. So he's on Instagram, he's on Twitter, he's on uh, Snapchat. He's even playing that new game PUBG at the same time. So these are our trendsetters. We should not be ignoring our trendsetters have a different story to tell the youth because you will be getting their mind share. Did you know that women also were an integral part of what your sales pitch, where it needs to go? Whether we like it or not, today and every day and for years also, women have been the de facto finance managers of any household. They hold the, you know, financial power. They know whether they want a house with a big kitchen or with a dr big drawing room. They know what they want. So, the women are growing the market share. Then you have this new person who has emerged. He's called the netizen. He's not the citizen. He is the netizen. And he find, he actually holds the heart share. So you have, you've, uh, I've to told you about the mind share with the youth. I've told you about the market share with the woman. And finally here, the heart share with the netizen. He's the citizen of the internet. That is a netizen who visits the internet more often than all of us. He's not only visiting and sitting there and watching what people do. No, he's not a backbencher. Mind you, he is a person who is connecting, conversing, communicating, and talking to all the brands or few brands of what he likes. He is the one making the difference over there. If you've got his heart for some of your products, you've actually got him in your hand. Because he's making a lot of impact on the internet. So we now move on to how and what is happening in terms of digital trends around us. Be, beware about the big three. I, I told you the numbers. I told you the population, United States, States of Facebook, 2.19 billion monthly active users. What do they say? Facebook says, I know who you are. 
तुम्हारा सारा डेटा मेरे पास है तुम क्या सुबह कितने बजे उठते हो तुम कितने बजे तैयार होते हो तुम कब ऑफिस जाते हो तुमने चेक इन अपने ऑफिस में कितने बजे किया है तुमने ब्रेकफास्ट में क्या खाया है कौन से तुम्हारे दोस्त हैं फोटोज किसकी है टुडे यू पुट अप अ फोटो विथ योर फ्रेंड फेसबुक हैज ऑलरेडी टैग्ड हिम दे आर नॉट वेटिंग फॉर यू टू टैग योर फ्रेंड दे हैव ऑलरेडी सैट एंड टैग्ड गूगल नोज वॉट यूर लुकिंग फॉर Amazon knows what you bought and what will you buy next also he knows he'll suggest things to you can now buy this am i right have you experienced it okay so the big 3 we need to somehow see how we can leverage on these three personalization all websites today the good good hygiene is believed to be responsive if you're responsive and you fit every mobile device you need to today uh, today what's happening is websites are actually displaying text in the language preference of the user your google analytics already knows which location and which device is being is landing on this page so when you know the location websites are editing a number based on the location now if you have offices in 20 locations whichever location the person is coming from you populate that sales number on top updated content is being displayed basis date and time and if you're coming from a android browser or if you're coming from a ios browser the device it's already the headers are passed to the website and the website knows google knows where you're coming from so you can customize your websites per location per language and per os the next trend is everybody is talking about ai today cars are being tested for driverless driving automatic driving today your machine talks to you today it's it's the age it's evolved we have machine talking to us and bots talking to us your search mobile search is moving towards voice now when so much of technology changes are happening we also the trends are moving we also need to move towards that you you know youtube is near approaching facebook the visitors on new youtube are almost 2 million which is sorry 2 billion which is near near to facebook's voice videos augmented reality it's like showrooming and web rooming we used in our times we i'm sure all of you as uh, you know real estate uh, professionals have been through this where you take your clients to experience the place in the studios studio apartments or studio homes today every th- instead of showrooming that today everything is displayed nicely on the web with zoom in features use technology to your benefit it's getting and in india the technology apparently is very cheap
video is the new normal and uh, next we come to the digital economy and marketing in the digital economy now i'm going to take you all through a little bit a bit of marketing for you to understand digital marketing philip kotler the father of marketing we all study him and he understands market people human emotion and we follow his books and so have i done that and he says today we are sitting at marketing 4.0 in the digital age he calls the digital age are 1 2 3 kahan chala gaya we are already talking about 4 i thought it was 1 where it was the four p's of marketing that is you know we all know product place promotion price haven't we all heard about that and we think marketing is that am i right okay then he released something called marketing 2.0 Uh, what is marketing 2.0 one was four p's two is four c's so in one when we made our marketing strategies and we wanted to release ads and we wanted to do digital advertising or we wanted to do so at that time digital wasn't there everything was on ground so all the ads and the traditional media we went with product place price and uh, person here you have the customer you have his convenience you looked at the cost and you looked at communication you became a little more softer in dealing with the person because eventually that target audience is only the person who's going to buy from you so the approach became customer oriented then came marketing 3.0 where he said just think human and go with market your products bases the hearts minds and spirits of people okay we thought that was that's what we are doing now but that's not over he says digital marketing is nothing but advertising del delivered through digital channels whether you use search engines whether you use your websites whether you use social media or mobile apps and any other you know forms of digital today your consumer experiences various brand touch points he's coming to your website he is coming through your website through different places where he sees that whether it's your search engine optimization that you've done well whether it's sem smo or even your orm at every point the consumer is going to have some kind of connect with you and i'm going to go one one slide for each of these and what we can do to make our life better in the digital marketing space the first question you ask yourself do you have a responsive website does it screen fit to the device which the customer is coming from that's the first question second search engine optimization have we op optimized our website to have great online visibility and feature on the first page 
of the search engines. So there are all kinds or the many kinds of search engines. You have Google, MSN, Bing, Yahoo. You, Google being the most popular. You have paid and unpaid search. Under, paid, under unpaid search, it is something that happens naturally and it's earned by you. Basis the algorithms, basis how you build your website. Pa the paid media is inorganic. So where do you perform these searches? They are multiple ways, using keywords. You have a text-based search, you have an image-based search, video, academic, news searches, all kinds of searches. But it all starts with keywords. So most of you sitting in the room will have same keywords. How do you make sure that you are seeded? We're calling this seeded because you need to be placed better than the other person. You do two things, on-page SEO and off-page SEO. On the on-page SEO, you have your title tags, your meta tags, the way you write your content, descript the description of your website, that is the first thing that pops up. These are the activities that you can do on your website and otherwise. It is a checklist of 50 items. I've not put the full checklist here. It's a checklist of 50 steps that you follow to make sure that your website is search enabled on page. Optimize best way. Similarly, there's a checklist that you do for your off-page optimization. Now, this is an example of a car body shop who have put a unique description. They've added their business category. So these are the different things that you must not miss out. Do not miss out on this while you do your on-page SEO. This is easy, you can do it yourself for your websites. Put a unique description for your company. Put it in the business category that it can belong to. NAP, that is your name, address and phone number. Your name, address, and phone number must be accurate everywhere. If you are on Facebook, if you are on your website, if you are in some other About Us page, everything should be consistent. If one pay page it is wrong, Google is not going to like it. Google Baba is going to disown you. So it makes sense to have correct uh, description and correct phone numbers. Use Google Maps. Have a Google profile of yours on Google Plus. Get Google reviews. What you do and how you service. Ask people if you had a good experience with them. Don't feel shy for them to put a, ask them for a review. And the better they rate you, the better your Google ranking. Same way, we have search engine marketing, where we look at links, we look at content, we do the search, we make sure ranking and performance is measured, we target our customers, and we market to them. AdWords, Google AdWords. First thing, you want to do AdWords, create your AdWords account. Start your campaign, it's very simple. Have your keywords, without keywords you can't run any campaign. You can decide your geography, 
go global or stay local? What is your campaign type? Are you doing a text-based search? Are you doing an image-based search? Set your budget. Google takes even 1500 a day if your budget is, Google will show you some results. Start that bidding. Experience it for yourself. How are you seeded? How are you rated? Where do you stand? Similarly, you have search ads. Search Google search ads. You have Google display ads. You have Google shopping ads. And there's a checklist what you can do for each of them. You have video ads. App campaigns. Now, we all know social media marketing. We are very social people. Do we know the people on the same table that we are sitting? Do we? Two people, not difficult. Do we know? Do we know? Do you know everybody sitting on your table? You don't know? No, the one behind with the lovely cap. You don't know? Please introduce yourself right away. Please introduce yourself. Get to know your people. What about your friends? Shake hands with them on that table. We are living in the social world. We want to do social media. We want to do social media marketing. This is a networking forum. Please meet your friends on the friends sitting on your table. They are lovely people. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, uh, your brand, your, pre your brand uh, presence on your page, you have an about. You have many things on social media that you need to follow. If you have started it, don't stop. Don't leave your page like an abandoned home. You have a page for your company, make it active. That's when, that's when people are going to see you. Don't be lazy. You'll see, you'll put your family photos and you'll have your own nice profile page and everything. But what about your company's page? Are you updating your company page every day? So, there is a process where you have your brand awareness you create, you convert the customer, you acquire the customer, and then you retain the customer. It's not that Are, once he came to Facebook, he saw my uh, property photo, he purchased it. Are, I'm happy now, nothing else to do. No. That is just the start. The same person is going to be effective in getting 10 more people. So don't stop updating your page there. So there, there, there was this car brand. They were, they had 24 touch points of a consumer. And they, out of those 24 touch points, 19 touch points were digital. He took the customer through a beautiful journey everywhere he was visible. The customer believed that this is the best car for me to buy. The touch points are all written there. Google, website, photographs. The customer went and saw so many things while on the road to the test drive and finally purchased the product. Similarly, your social media marketing. All associated with that keywords. Whether we talk of seven great steps, all of them start with how consistent you are and how many keywords are you using.
and what are those keywords? Are you social or not? Be social. Now, online reputation is also very important. There may be 20 people out of 50,000 people not believing in your product and talking ill of you there. You have to take it with dignity. You have to not get offended. Don't react. Don't overreact. Definitely react. Get the customer back to you. Approach him. Be transparent. Because a lot of people will throw flack at you. But it's how you... Everybody is watching. In the online space, your reputation is very important. The whole world is watching. So, be careful in what you say and be truthful, be humble. B2B marketing, LinkedIn is one of the best places to be present for B2B marketing. Make your page because we talk business to business. My customer is not, my product is not, uh, you know, I'm not doing B2C, I'm doing B2B. Okay, if you're doing B2B, then you be present on LinkedIn. And if you're present on LinkedIn, have your page, find customers through advanced searches, showcase your product, have many clicks that take them to your website. It's so simple. You have links you can create for people, the URLs, the bit.ly URLs, small URLs. You embed it and people come to your website. Publish content. See, it all comes down to whether you're talking or not talking. If you're social, social media karne ka hai. Ab social media karne ka hai to baat to karne ka hai na. Chup chap to social media nahi hoga. So, publish the content. Now, who are these influencers? Your influencers are nothing but your netizens, your net citizens. You remember? I spoke about earlier. So, these people, first you need to make them aware of your product. They need to know about your product. You need to create interest to them. Then it is their desire to buy. They make a decision to buy. And finally, they advocate and speak about what they bought. So it's a chain. Your influencers are very important to you. So only when we know something are we going to like it. Only when we like it are we going to trust it. And only when we trust it are we going to recommend it to our customers. So. 75% uh, of people are looking for information, 23% are comparing, actually only 2% are responding. But you have all the, right from your website, what all you can do on your website, what all you can integrate, a full template is given here. What all you can have to make them know, like and trust you. Now you'll tell uh, me, Simran, what should I do? Now, I've, uh, how do I do anything, you know, to take it forward? You all have business goals. Your business goals are to create awareness, make people, convert them to sales, and retain your customers. So when you do that, your social media goals should translate into your business goals. Your, actually, your business goals should translate to your social media goals. So for, if you want to create awareness, grow your following and boost your engagement. If you want people to dis, just buy it then and there, you need to win their sales uh, pitch. Your, your sales pitch needs to be strong. If you want to retain them, then you need to be brand evangelists. So how do you do that? Through campaigns, content, engagement, promotion. Uh, you support with 
lot of information, and finally, you retain your customers. Now, I had given you all this gyan about content in the beginning, content, content, content. Set your goals, map your audience, create the content for your audience, distribute your content, amplify your content, evaluate whether it's working for you and make improvements. It is as simple as that. The same thing we do for our clients also, and it works. So your ammunition is a whole set of things on the internet which can be used by you. Plan it out, plan it out weekly, plan out what you're going to do monthly, quarterly, annually. Divide it. We divide our sales targets and our businesses like this. Can't we divide our social media functioning like this? So this is a campaign we did for one of our clients. So which her are you looking at? Quickly, I've got five minutes left. Which, which her are you looking at? Car. Car. Everybody's looking at the car? No. Okay, got you. So this is a concept we used for one of our clients. And we, it's the car company is a garage, auto garage, here in Hyderabad. And uh, we use this many times in many movies, we've seen that, Aray, bhai, usko dekha, wo gaadi aai. And in that gaadi, there is this lovely looking girl. So one friend is talking about the girl, the other friend is actually talking about the car. So th from that idea, emerged a story. So, many ways to make her quiet if she's making a noise. You can't live without her, then don't leave her. Come to the auto garage, get her servicing done. She leaves you stranded. Don't be helpless, come to checkered flag. Roadside assistance. Is she dirty? I'm sure she requires gentle hands. Auto, garage, car wash. So you want to, uh, she wants to wear fire red. Don't get your hands dirty. We'll paint her for you. Is she driving you nuts? Breathe in, breathe out. We'll offer our garage services. So, does she need help? Is she making some noise or, you know, is she not, uh, uh, you know, she's out of control? So, it's all in reference to the car without a picture of a car, basically. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You can market your brand without actually showing the picture of the brand. Auto garage bumps and dents. If she's having a breakdown, please pamper her. We will send our repairs. Now, we derived a safety campaign from here. Buckle up, buttercup. So, buckle up, buttercup is something you tell to your spouse wear a seatbelt, be safe. Get your eyes on the road and stop texting when, when driving. Don't drive too fast, it may affect you.